this is Jen Healy and day 26 of the 30 day yoga swing challenge. We're going to start off with another full body workout. I wasn't sure what else to call it because again it's one of my favorite sequences called the black swan and we really do cover the legs, the arms, the whole torso. So we're calling it another full body workout. There's a couple of those that really do encapsulate and incorporate everything we've learned. So let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. Stand with the swing in front of us. And like our forward folds, we're going to push our arms straight so the swing is hitting the top of the legs, right where the legs insert into the pelvis, the bottom of the hips. So once we're there, we're going to come into a forward fold, nice and easy. Keep the feet towards the center of the mat, hip distance, pass the elbows and hang. Let your body sway out from side to side. Get a lot of length through the side body by bending at the hip creases. Make sure that the back is arched. So we're leading with the heart, head is in line with the body. From there, let's just go ahead and stretch it out into a down dog. I'm gonna walk my feet towards the back of the mat and do a little wagging of my tail, happy dog from side to side. From there, let's inhale and pull forward, arch and open. Exhale, round in for cat's meow. Inhale, arch and open, look forward. Exhale, go ahead and round in, squeeze the belly towards the sky, and then go ahead and lift for a flying dog. Just try it. It's really fun to fly. Okay, back to our down dog. Let's go ahead and lift the right leg. Inhale, arch and open for one-legged dog. Exhale, pull the knee to nose. Inhaling, lift. Open up. Exhale, squeeze knee to nose. Inhaling, lift. Now keep the foot up, you're going to bend the knee, hook the foot on the outside. This is a review, so I'm going over it a little bit more quickly. So once the foot is hooked outside in, okay, straighten the leg towards the sky, hop the left foot towards the center of the mat. So we're coming through our standing splits. From here, bend the elbows and hang. If you have balance, you can try flying again. If that works out, clasp your hands behind your back and pull your fingertips towards the ground. Keep the heart open and the head in line with the body. Okay, big stretch to the back of the legs. And then we're going to come forward onto our fingertips. Go ahead and plant left hand down. Turn the right fingers towards the sky. Tee the arms. Open up. Now from here, I'm going to reach back as far as I can and grab for the swing. The opposite side of the leg. Okay, if I turn my toes to the left, I can float out into a half moon. So just try coming into a half moon. I reach up as high as I can. I stack my hips right over my ankle. Nice long lines of energy. So if you drop your head, you get this amazing stretch through the neck and shoulders. Feels really good to stretch here. I can let my hand float. Okay, if I wanna go a little bit further, this is our black swan. I'm gonna climb up and find the handhold. Use a wrist wrap and then let yourself hang. So now we're stretching in all directions, okay? Straighten both legs, and then if you want to pick up your standing leg, you can bend the knee and come into a black swan. So again, we're stretching the arms, we're stretching the legs. One more pose, plant that foot down, roll your belly towards the ground, bend the right knee, and roll it over into Nataraj. So in this pose, we have a really big shoulder stretch you're going to drop your weight down. If you want to float, you can try floating again. This feels really, really good. Stretching everything. And then we're going to plant the foot down. Go ahead and turn your belly forward. Straighten both legs. Now to drop down, just be really gentle and slow about it. Start to release your handhold. Walk yourself forward. Get comfortable here. Bend the right knee. Come through a happy dog. Wag your tail. Make sure you let the swing slide down into that hip crease where it's comfortable. And then just take a moment to reset. Let's do second side. Inhale, pull forward for cat's meow, arch and open. Exhale, round in and squeeze. Inhale, pull forward, arch, lift. Exhale, round in and squeeze. Inhale, pull forward, lift. Now once we're here, go ahead and lift the left leg up and then pull the knee to nose on the exhale. Inhale, lift, arch and open. Exhale, round in and squeeze. Inhale, lift. Okay, on the next lift, we kick 
the leg loop out of the way, toes hook outside in, and then from there, you can straighten the left leg towards the sky, hop the right foot to the center of the mat, standing splits, make sure that you bend your elbows and hang. <sighs> Let gravity do the work for you. If you have balance, you can float, fly. If you need to change your standing foot position to find the balance, go ahead and play with that. Make sure that it feels comfortable for you to lift your arms. And then if you have the balance, clasp your hands behind your back, pull your fingertips towards the ground, nice long lines of energy. And then when you're ready, release the clasp, walk it forward. Come onto your fingertips, plant the right hand down, let the left arm tee towards the sky. Okay, maybe this is as far as you go in the poses. Like I said, be creative with it. Only go as far as it feels good each day. And then reach back for the far end if you want to go further. So not the part where the leg is wrapped around, but the far side. Reach up as high as you can. Turn your toes out to the right and let yourself float into a half moon. Play with that. It's really fun to play with the angular momentum. I turn my toes out and my hand floats over to Ardha Trinjasana. Now this could be as far as you go, which is totally fine. Just enjoy the stretch. You can drop the head, stretch the neck. You can kind of wiggle up a little bit higher to get a deeper stretch. Hold on as high as you can. And then if you want, climb up for the handhold. Once you get the handhold, I like a wrist wrap that allows you to have a little bit more stability. Long legs, long arms, and then you can try and float. I like to bend the right knee for black swan number one. Stretching the arms, stretching the legs, bend the left knee to roll it open. Belly comes down towards the ground, both hands grab for the handhold. So this is not Taraj, and you can either bend the standing leg or bend the knee enough that the foot comes towards the thigh and float again. Taking enough time to get the belly stretch and the shoulder stretch here. Go ahead and replant that foot, straighten both legs then slowly, slowly return to the ground. Once you come down, walk yourself forward. <sighs> Bend the left knee, release the hook. Happy dog. <sighs> Take a few breaths. So that is a nice long sequence. There's a few other versions that we can continue on that are more advanced with Black Swan. Feel free to follow along with one of those videos if you want to try it. If you're ready to come out, go ahead and walk your hands forward, walk your feet forward, come up through angel wings, grab for the swing, use your back there, and come to stand. Whew, I love that sequence. We're opening up the back body, we're opening up the side body, we're opening up the shoulders, you can even get a great neck stretch there. So go ahead and try that a couple more times. The black swan sequence is one of our more advanced, newer sequences. I'll really look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and please do leave your comments below. I'm Jen Healy. This is AerialYogaPlay.com, and these are the Airx Yoga Swings. See you tomorrow.